okay, so the team at RPCS3 seem to have performed the impossible. The Raspberry Pi 5 can work with a PlayStation 3 emulator. Now, I haven't tried it yet, but I've worked out how to install it. So first up, I'm going to need an SD card with enough space on it. I'm going to use this Samsung 128 Pro, which is a nice, fast SD card. So let's pop that in. And let's launch Raspberry Pi Imager. And we're going to do choose device, Raspberry Pi 5, choose OS, and uh, other general purpose OS, Ubuntu. And then we'll go for this desktop version for Pi 5. Choose storage, that's my SD card. And next, and yes. Okay, that's done. So let's shut this down. And pop the SD card into this Pi 5. And let's boot that up. And just follow the normal startup procedure for a new OS. Now this version of Ubuntu is coming up with all sorts of errors. So I would probably use an older version, which I'll probably switch back to. But as I've gone this far, what we need to do is go to RCPS3 and click on download. And then we need the Linux version, which is for ARM, which is this one. So let's download that. Okay, so that's downloaded. We can open the folder and let's close the web browser down. So now what I do here is right click on this and do rename and then do control A and just copy that whole line. And then we need to right click and open in terminal. And we need to type in chmod plus x space and then paste in the name of that file and hit enter and then we do dot forward slash no space and paste that in and so this isn't working yet but it was on my other version of ubuntu because i used that to install the ps2 emulator so unfortunately i'll have to wait for this to finish oh it has finished Okay, so let's close that down. So let's go into the terminal again and sudo apt install fuse. And this is just annoying. Uh, this version of Ubuntu for me just has had so many errors. So I'm going to go back to my other version of Ubuntu, but everything I've done so far is the right way to do it. But what would normally happen when you did that is sudo apt install fuse would have installed fuse. So let's shut this down. And it even comes up with errors when it's doing this. So this is an older version of Ubuntu. So if we go to terminal and type in NeoFetch. Yeah, this is 23.10. So if we go to the folder, I've got it in my downloads folder just as I had before. And you can see I've got PS2 and PS3 here. So right click and open in terminal. And then we just need that command I was using. So dot forward slash and then the name of the file or the app image. And you can see that it launches the PS3 emulator. Now you're going to need a PS3 operating system. And I can't tell you how to get that. But you can obviously search through forums and things. And also some games. So I'm going to say I've read the guide. Let's just minimize that. You can't close that because it will close it down file, install firmware, so you can see here ps3 update.pup and open that and I'm just going to say yes to this and OK and now I can open some games. Now I don't know how well this is going to work, actually it's best to wait for this bit to finish which in this case is going to take 8 minutes. Now while it's doing that, it's worth having a look at this video. So this is the official video from RPCS3, challenging the limits of PlayStation 3 emulation. And this is just to show some of the games they had running. And it's, it's really impressive. A lot of them are PS2 ports, but uh, they've definitely had some good performance on some of these games. I'll just skip through just to show a few different titles that are running. Here we go. So that looks pretty fast. And just, I think, unexpected for a Raspberry Pi 5. PS2 obviously runs better, but that said, some PS2 games run terribly. Uh, and so to see this running as well as it's running 
is super impressive. I won't play any more of that. I'll put a link in the description to this video so you can watch it yourself. But yeah, very impressive. Okay, so nearly done. Okay, not sure if it crashed. Doesn't seem to be running anymore. So let's go back and try that again. So open in terminal. And let's run it. And continue. Okay, let's try the games. So in my documents folder, and I think the easiest game to run that I have is either San Andreas or Handball. So I'm going to try that. Oh yeah, it's trying. Haven't changed any of the settings yet or configured the controller, but to see it doing this is really quite impressive. So click on the pads and you need to tell it what controller you're using. So I think it's SDL. Yeah, Xbox 360 controller. And I think that's probably already configured. Yeah, it looks like the analog sticks are. So I'll leave that as it is and save that. And we probably need to look at definitely getting a very low resolution. Yeah, so here they talked about, actually they talked about lower resolutions than these. I'm sure one of them was 273. And also a good idea to lower your desktop resolution as well. And on PS2, I would drop it down to 640 by 480 sometimes to play a game better. So this is going to give me 720 by 576. And we'll keep those changes. Okay, it's just finishing now. Three seconds to go. Well, that's going faster. Oh, installing data now. It does take a long time um, on my MacBook as well. I haven't done this for a while and I think it's improved on the M1 Mac now. But let me know how you get on and what settings you use on various different games uh, and what games run reasonably well on this. PS3 application has likely crashed. You can close it. Or it might have crashed. But the good thing is when you load the game again, it should have remembered where it got to. So good thing about Ubuntu, if you press the Windows key, you can go back into all these menus. I think I'll close that. Oh look, FPS 30. Maybe I need to close this one. Or close the terminal. Okay, so let's close that. Let's just try that one more time. So right click and open in terminal and let's run that and I don't need to show that at startup so let's do that. Right, this might be better as well actually because it's going to be running at the lower resolution. It, I started it on the higher resolution before so let's try again. Yes, yeah, see it whips through this now. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it crashes at that bit. Okay, so I need to play around with it more. But uh, obviously you've seen some of the games that run on it from the official side. Uh, I haven't really got a lot of time at the moment to go through all the settings and things and also try a load of different games. But hopefully if it gets you to this point, you might have some more success. Here's a bit of GTA San Andreas. Okay, so it's loading okay. Start game, new game. Music's working. It's looking promising. What sort of speed are we going to get? Okay, let's skip all this. Oh, it's looking a bit jerky. It's trying though. Again, I haven't really played around with optimization. Yeah, I think it might have crashed. Yeah. Oh, no, it's still going. No, I think that's it. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be doing anything. What does the terminal say? Safe fault reading location at emu thread name rsx thread. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.